about it here hey, first. Hey. What? What? It's, it's here. What's here? It's here. Break lines? No, look. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's, it's here. here. It's here. Go. <laughs> Probably. Same lug pattern, so if they ever go flat, you know. Better wheels. Might steal the wheels off of it. Woo. Leave it on blocks. What's going on Octane fans? Just got in our brand new Snap-on EUV toolbox. Brand new and brand new to us. You know, channel's growing, shop's growing, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to store all of our tools between like four different toolboxes. We bought one here and bought one there and they just seem to fill up over time. So we got our dream box. This is the box we've always wanted. We've always talked about it for years. You know, one of these days we're gonna have one. Well, it came true and today it got delivered. So we're gonna go through this thing real quick. We've been working on the OBS all morning while this came in. Didn't get as far as we wanted. Had some issues with the brakes and well, you know, you know how that goes. So we've um, got the- uh, What's that? Uh, nothing. Is that a brake line? No, it's not. No, I don't know what huh. that was. It was, it's a toolbox. It's a Snap-on EV toolbox. It's just, it, over here, right up here. Yep, there you go, there you go. So, um, yeah, Snap-on EUV toolbox, stainless steel hutch. This thing is custom with two, not just one, but two plugs on the top so we can charge our computers, we can charge our scan tools, our tuning laptops, and we can plug in our monitors, that kind of stuff. Stainless steel, it's got the interlocking webbing. I don't remember the exact name they called it, but that way we can move things around like a monitor mount custom stainless steel monitor amount and you just put it, you know. Well, I say that. I can't get it. You know what it should have came with? It should have came with a step stool. That's the only thing I don't like about this thing. We should have got a matching step stool for vertically challenged people. Not everybody needs that though, but oh. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. But uh, stainless steel top, this is a power drawer. We don't have a plug in currently, but there's a button here on the front. Should we plug that in? There's a button here on the front that we could turn some lights on underneath here, and we just haven't opened it up yet. We are doing that with y'all. So here we go. Come over here. Come on, check this thing out. Check the size of these drawers. Most of our older toolboxes were about that big right there, right? We've got an additional six inches on this drawer, and if I'm not mistaken, we're, what, 72 inches wide? Sorry, 62 inches wide. 62-inch wide drawer compared to our 50-inch wide drawers on the other box. This is just the main toolbox. Yeah. Tons of drawer space, tons of drawer space. It's even got a speed drawer built in so we can put all of our butt connectors and little bitty trinkets and, and Phillips head bits that we always break, things like that, drill bits. Speed drawer for that. Comes with all the dividers in the bottom ready to go. Mats for every drawer built in. And a monster drawer right here. 
This thing's huge. So let's move into this amp cabinet. So not only do we have all of the speed holes here so we can hang stuff on the outside, it comes with a power drawer so that we can charge all of our snap-on batteries and other batteries here. It comes with a rack on this side that all those tools will sit nice and neat right there and we can slide them up out of the way. All these drawers are movable except for the power drawer up and down, whichever way we want to go. There's a box for the door like that. We're waiting on our shocks to come in that's going to hold these doors open. Cabinet number two. Same situation on this side. The door has the uh, speed holes in it. Another tray for that side. Four sliding drawers that all move and one solid shelf and all of those are adjustable up and down. But you know what the coolest thing about this thing is? Our toolbox has the same size wheels as most sedans on the road today. Just about the same wheelbase too. And She's even got disc brakes. All right, that's enough talk. Let's get this thing put in place. We're gonna get the tools in. Shoot, time is money. We ain't got much either. Can you open the door? Pull it. There you go. Not my car. That's my car. What is? It's the size of that Honda out there. Which one? That's a Toyota. Oh, that one? Yeah, probably has the same size wheels on it. It does. 17.
can see, we have finally got some storage. And wow, this thing is a monster. We just about got everything put away in its perspective home. Got a little bit more cleaning up left to do, but she's pretty well set up for success. We appreciate it. We thank you guys. And be sure to like and subscribe. Love y'all.